So for this week's video, I wanted to share with you three plugins that you can use to add social share buttons to the bottom of your WordPress post. So these are buttons like you see here on this post where you can share to Facebook or Pinterest or Twitter and it creates easy to do buttons so people don't have to go to the Facebook, copy a link, paste it there. Instead, you could just click a button like that share to your Facebook and then write whatever comments you want to. So the first plugin that I have here is called the share button by add this. So uh, once you look for that, if you go to your plugin section and you look for this plugin and you act, install and activate it on your website, you go now on your settings, uh, section you'll now have a new um, section called add this share so if you click on add this share these are the options that you have for this plugin and it, it's kind of neat plugin that lets you not only add uh, share buttons to the bottom of your post but also to the top so here I selected maybe smaller buttons for the top of my post and then bigger buttons for the bottom and what's also neat about this plugin is that you can add a share this account which is totally free and you can um, actually collect stats on your shares so in the advanced tab make sure you, if you create an account make sure you click show analytics in the admin tab and then when you go to your dashboard you should have a new box that has all your add this data. So I know how many times it's been shared, I know what posts have been shared, and by what social media sources, by Pinterest, Facebook, or whatever. So that's the first plugin there. And so let me just deactivate this one now. I'll deactivate it. So now the second plugin that I wanted to show you is by Jetpack by WordPress.com. So Jetpack is actually the uh, set of plugins that are, are installed on wordpress.com. So if you're familiar with wordpress.com, these are all the plugins that you get on that site. And they have a whole bunch of different uh, kind of modules that they call them, which is social share buttons, maybe subscribe to your um, posts, um, a whole bunch of stats, which is really cool. So, um, but we're gonna look at the social share. So once you install Jetpack by wordpress.com, and you'll now have this new Jetpack section on your WordPress blog. So if you click on that, you'll see um, all the different modules that you can install, all the different plugins that you can install for your WordPress site. So we're gonna use the sharing module. So if I activate this, then if I go again to settings and I go to sharing now, I now have a whole bunch of different options for share. So you, if you drag and drop these um, little icons here to the enabled services, it will enable the share buttons that you want. Uh, I'm just gonna choose the kind of standard Facebook, Pinterest, Twitter, or whatever. And um, now there's a few different options here to display. If you wanna display just an icon only, if you wanna display text and icon, and or the official buttons now here's a word of note with the official buttons which took me a while to figure out if you use official buttons i hate this like button for facebook because it doesn't let you write anything when you go to post to facebook you don't even i don't even know where it shows up on my facebook feed so i always use um the other ones icon and text which will let you actually share the um, post and let you write something about it so that's just a little note there so uh yeah so i'll just click save here and then i'll go back to my page and i'll refresh And so now at the bottom of all my posts, I have these icons here, which essentially do the same thing. Um, if I click on here, you'll see it does exactly the same things I expect it to. It does a, a share button for that post. Okay, and so now the third plugin that I wanted to show you is called the share buttons by add any so share buttons by add any this has been along for around for a long time and a really popular plugin so if i um i'll just disable my jet pack plugin right now and then 
I'll go to my plugins. And I'll activate add to any. Share buttons by add to any. So now uh, in my settings tab, I now have a new add to any menu item. So it um, also gives me a bunch of item, uh, different options to do a, a large or small buttons. And I have an option to add and remove a whole bunch of other services. It has actually a pretty length, lengthy list here, uh, which is really cool. So um, I'm gonna stick with these guys and um, yeah and then it has a whole bunch of options to display on the bottom of your posts or if you want to display at the top and bottom of your posts as well you want to display on your excerpts your home page all that kind of stuff so I'm just gonna actually save all the defaults here and click save and so now when I go to my home page and I refresh Now I have those same uh, share buttons, which do exactly the same thing. Um, the one thing that I don't like about this add to any button is the Pinterest. The Pinterest is a little kind of wacky crazy where it displays all the images on the home page and not really the featured image of your post like I want it to. So you really have to search around for the post that you actually did want to pin or the image that you did want to pin. But um, yeah, that's the only thing about that plugin that I don't really like, but the rest um, works pretty well. A lot of options and then if you want more options it has this button here where you can um, choose more social media so yeah um, this is a really simple ways how to add the share this button to your um, to your posts and um, if you want to look at how to create some custom buttons to your to share your WordPress post then I'm uh, gonna have a part two to this video that you use the add to any also and create some um, custom buttons. So um, look out for the, my next video that will show you how to do that.